Hi everyone, thought I would like to take some time now to make a video on uh, my reflections and thoughts on my gameplay uh, in Daytona USA, uh, in particular the advanced course and this was this video that you're going to be seeing uh, is actually a video that I posted many years ago, I think it was 12 years ago and uh, it's actually uh, posted during uh, my pick uh, where I've played Daytona USA a lot in the arcade center uh, in Singapore. Do pardon me uh, because the video quality might not be as sharp and the resolution might not be as good uh, because uh, of the technology uh, that was uh, present 12 years ago. And Daytona is really a game uh, of practice, right? In fact, any game requires a huge investment of time uh, in practicing and especially in racing games um, where uh, practice is especially important um, due to the various factors that affects the gameplay for example the racing line uh, the precision uh, of changing of the gears uh, the coordination between the steering wheel and the gears uh, coordination between the steering wheel gear and the brake as well yeah so all of this factors come into play and um, as a result of that I would have to say that um, um, the gameplay in Daytona that um, I have achieved is really through years and years of practice. Without further ado, uh, let us look at the video. Right, let's revisit uh, this scene uh, that was played earlier again uh, to look at some of the specifics. Yep, so as usual, uh, 3, 2, 1, go, and then I did a jump start. Uh, I made the first change of gear to gear 2 at 112, followed by 180, and then the final change to gear 4 is at 250 exactly. Yep, so over here what you have seen just now was actually how precise uh, the changing of the gears is uh, when it comes to uh, Daytona USA especially uh, when you have uh, chosen the um, manual mode of transmission yeah because um, a wrong change in gear or an incorrect timing will cause the acceleration of the car uh, to be at its suboptimal level and as a result of that uh, the car uh, will have will take a longer time to reach a certain speed. With that, let's continue with the next portion. Yeah, so you would probably have realized that um, uh, I was actually uh, shaking the steering wheel um, uh, so that smoke actually comes out from the back of the car. Uh, so actually, um, this is not an action that's done for fun however um, there is actually a purpose in, in doing so um, and let me just bring you through this scene again so we can see the zigzag pattern over here and uh, taking into account that the wheel of the car shouldn't pass the first uh, metal uh, curb uh, you can see the timing here is 1842 a decent uh, jump, jump start timing for pros now, um, up next, you'll see a series of uh, four turns that uh, are being made. And of course, this is the, um, the secret uh, in playing well in Daytona. Actually, lies in each of these uh, four turns. So, um, take note for the first turn, uh, look at um, the racing line that I took, um, and as well as the gears that I changed, and also the speed uh, that the car is um, having as I made the first turn. Right, notice the turning speed of 327 and finishing with a checkpoint of 1131, which is very fast. Second turn with a speed of 310, and then a third a downhill with a landing speed of 301. So, extremely fast. Uh, and then finally, uh, last turn with a speed of 311, 
uh, consistently uh, taking the racing line now and then you can see over here this is actually a uh, large checkpoint of 1789 uh, one of the perhaps the fastest that's ever been caught on video so um, we're going to be watching the uh, entire um, uh, video right and uh, as I share my thoughts so at this point of time uh, yeah um, having a extremely fast first lap it was actually quite stressful um, uh, in my mind right uh, fortunately uh, my second lap was also done at a very similar fast speed right uh, again another landing of 301 for third turn and then the last turn at 310 to 311 um, and eating the racing line totally uh, and again another final checkpoint of 1789 yep so at this point of time uh, i probably already knew that um, uh, i have a chance of um, um, ca capturing um, a sub a sub 80 252 80 on uh, on video right of course my best was of course you can see over here 25264 yeah so uh, but I think at that point of time for 25264 it really took me a lot a lot a lot uh, of concentration and also uh, determination to only focus on the game yeah so it wasn't easy uh, knowing that uh, there's actually a video camera that's uh, taking the game now all right so over here you can see a uh, final checkpoint of 1790 right so we can see that uh, at this point of time uh, the car is actually um, taking the racing line all the way the black racing line and then over here again right and then if you can see after the second last shadow i start to shift towards the right and then exiting from the center and then the first turn and over here my second turn was a little bit slower yeah so i was quite worried that you actually will affect my total time right and then unfortunately i was able to gain the speed back uh, at my third turn and uh eventually uh i was nervous and because of that my last turn was a little bit slower and as a result i got a timing of 1795 for the final checkpoint and the total time as you can see will be uh two minutes 52 seconds and 73 microns right uh, uh quite quite a fast uh timing i would say so i think with that uh, i will end my uh, very short video of my walkthrough of the best uh, daytona usa advanced game that's been caught on video yeah, so stay tuned uh, for a guide uh, on the advanced um, map or advanced course. Uh, I'll try my best uh, to show uh, how the steering wheel and the gear looks uh, as um, each and every one of the turn is being made. Right, so stay tuned. Thank you everybody and Happy New Year.